GoPro out of its case this time. Maybe, maybe the audio will be better. I don't know. Thought I'd give it a shot. Looks like it's still a little shaky. Um, but anyway, um, I'm in the truck again here. Hopefully, you've seen my uh, party videos by now of the sprayer. I haven't got them all up posted yet as I'm making this, but I will post this one after those. But anyway, thought I'd get a video here before it gets dark, and you can't see this, but um, I am headed to Louisville, Kentucky, uh, to the National Farm Machinery Show. Uh, I try to make that show every year, the uh, past four years. So, uh, this is the 50th anniversary show this year. So, um, yeah, um, I'll be making the four hour drive up there, be staying the night a little bit south of, uh, of Louisville there. Um, but anyway, hope to, uh, hope to see, uh, Hardy, Great Plains, Massey Ferguson. Uh, we'll be visiting the Trimble booth, hopefully, because um, I'm now in the market for a new guidance system. I uh, sold my John Deere uh, 1800 Star, or Green Star and uh, ITC Starfire receiver the other day, so um, I'm going to be talking to those folks. I've got to get a guidance system on order this week because uh, I'm running out of time before I start spraying wheat. Uh, so I've got to get that here installed in the tractor, get familiar with it enough to actually uh, get in the field with it and start doing some damage. <laughs> so anyway, um, but yeah, um, I had decided whether I'm going to take the GoPro in yet or not uh, to get uh, some footage, but I might carry it in with me and uh, carry it in my pocket and get some footage post up in this video but uh, yeah that's what's going on and uh, uh, I hope to uh, get to see some new things here there's always something to learn at these shows um, usually you got some of the top uh, top experts of the manufacturers of equipment there and uh, if you can get a chance to get a minute of their time you can uh, you can learn something um, I will be talking with Great Plains about uh, some different options on my seed drill uh, as far as planting corn with it uh, I may modify and change uh, to a different press wheel and I'm going to be talking seed farmers with them as well uh, and plus I'm going to be uh, asking Hardy a few questions that I have on the spray rig and, uh, and hopefully meeting the guy that I actually dealt with uh, with Hardy um, on the sprayer uh, to get to meet him, shake his hand and if he can answer a few questions but anyway that's the deal, I'm trying to get through rush hour traffic right now and find my way to the interstate and then it'll be about a three and a half four hour drive so uh, anyway thanks for watching if I get to carry this in the show there'll be some more uh, footage behind this if not well that's that anyway see ya all right um, I'm on my way back from the uh, National Farm Machinery Show Just cruising down the interstate here Kentucky. I've got the GoPro back in its case on the dash. I hope the audio ain't too bad messed up again. But anyway, I don't have another good spot to set it right now, and my suction cup mount is backwards, so I can't just you know, aim right. But anyway, uh, I didn't carry the GoPro in with me uh, to the show just because I had a lot of people I want to talk to today. Meat and, and uh, I just didn't want to have to keep up with it around. So 
I didn't get any video on the show. I did take a few pictures, uh, which I will try to attach to this video. But I didn't get too many pictures. I thought I took more than I did, but I didn't have a handful. But anyway, uh, show was good as usual. Um, my main goal was to learn some stuff. Um, I, uh, like I said, I wanted to talk to Hardy. Uh, uh, I met the guy that sold me, or that I dealt with, so he sold me, well, I guess he kind of did, but anyway, the guy I dealt with, uh, at Hardy, um, got to meet him, shake his hand, ask him a few questions, um, he showed me a pretty neat little kit that they've got to parts, uh, that I'm going to consider buying, uh, it's just kind of a little spare parts toolbox, um, has, uh, a bag of borings and different fittings and things that might go bad in the field that you could uh, you know have those with you and fix what's broke and uh, get back going at the end of your day uh, because as I learned today which I kind of already knew this most of the hardy parts you just can't go down to a tractor supply or any other place and get um, they, um, they're kind of a special, special part, you know, T-Jet, I think, style fittings and nozzles and stuff are, are common, those don't really work with a party system, but anyway, uh, I talked with Pioneer for a good while, uh, I got, in the, got set down with a, um, local Pioneer rep in our area, uh, we talk about uh, corn seed and soybean seed. I'm going to be doing a little bit of corn this year for the first time, so I had lots of questions on that. And uh, of course, I was prepared with some notes and information uh, on me, so I got to get that out in front of us and we got to discuss some things in detail, which was good. Uh, he's got my phone number, I got his, so I now have a local contact. They always got different questions about varieties and different things I want to try. I don't try to put all my eggs in one basket with one variety. I try to keep it mixed up. So uh, that went good. Uh, I met with Great Plains uh, because I'm going to try to do the impossible and plant corn with my seed group. Um, that's not advised. It's also, you know, it, it don't come out to not to do it. It's doable. But um, some minor modifications I'm going to make to the seed drill. So we talked about that. And uh, we also talked about pressable options because uh, it's important to get the burrow closed on corn. So we looked at some different press wheel double V press wheels and heavy cast iron wheel they've got that, we're, that I'm going to consider purchasing for the four rows that I'll be using on the drill to plant corn and 30 inch spacing. So that was discussed. Uh, I got about three of them guys in the huddle and we hashed that out. Uh, one was a local rep of uh, the southeast area of South Georgia. Um, for some reason, <laughs> Georgia seems to be the place to be for me here lately. I, I, you know, I've never really bought equipment out of Georgia. I've been to Tennessee a lot. I've been to Mississippi and elsewhere. But just here lately, uh, Georgia's the place to go. But anyway, um, got with that guy. We got with another guy with Great Plains that was uh, that knew the seed drills pretty well. And we discussed what I was trying to do. You know, it, 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 it's not a corn planter, it's a seed drill. It's not really meant to plant corn as a crop, but it is doable. Uh, I've got to, I got to run some, some test trials with it. Uh, meanwhile, I'm not going to do a big spot this year um, just because I, it, it's risky. Corn is a risky crop, and uh, I just want to get my feet wet in it this year and then go from there. We also talked about um, 
They don't work out very well. Uh, they do make a small four row, single row corn planting unit that is not too bad expensive, but probably still more than I want to buy for the amount of acreage we're doing. So if I have to buy a corn planter, I'll probably buy something used to cheap. Um, like a John Deere 4 or something, who knows, but cross that bridge when I get there. Um, I uh, spent some time with the Gleaner Combine. Uh, head guy, Gleaner was there, Kevin Bean, I believe is his name. Don't quote me on that one, we'll do that right. Um, talkative guy, uh, I didn't get to really talk with him directly. But I got to, to uh, stand there in a huddle of five or six other guys and him just go on and on about the different things with Gleaner and the engineering and design and why they do what they do on some of their uh, their combines and why they're designed the way they are. Which is very interesting to just, you kind of get, you start listening to them, you kind of get engulfed in the conversation. Um, but... Uh, Anyway, so I, twice I made it by there today, and both times got kind of sucked into what he was talking about, just kind of listening to what he had to say. I did talk with another gleaner. They were all Agco reps, but they were in their different specialties, uh, like the Massey Ferguson people, and the gleaner people, and the Challenger, and the different different brands that they have so I did talk to another gleaner guy for a little bit he was, a, he was actually a farmer up in Illinois I believe he said he was and he has a gleaner combine um, just talked a little bit general about you know uh, where he was from and what they did um, I did make a good walk around at the whole show I stopped at a few booths here and there um, the, um, you know, it was pretty good, uh, picked up a few brochures and some things that I might be interested in down the road, uh, I did spend some time, I sold my John Deere, uh, Green Star system the other day, my 1800 display and ITC Starfire receiver, so, I'm in the market, uh, for a new guided system. Uh, I still haven't decided what I was going to do. I thought I would narrow that down today, but I think my selection got larger. Uh, but I got some phone numbers and some contacts. Um, so, I've got maybe two weeks, could be less, to get something in the tractor going for that. Uh, so, I'm, uh, i got to get on the ball on that. Uh, I did get dealer for Ag Leader out of uh, Mississippi to call. Trimble is probably the system I'm leaning towards because I already know where I can get one and get one fairly cheap and quickly. Um, it's just there's two different types. I could go with the cheap basic get it in the cab and run model or I could get one that is going to be a little bit more, but could give me the functionality of boom section control and yield monitoring and different things down the road if I so choose to do so. So, um, I don't know. Uh, the Ag Leader looked pretty good. Uh, I didn't look at the Ravens that much. I've seen them around at several booths. Uh, I stopped at a place that actually sells Raven and the T-Jet guided systems together and he leaned more towards the T-Jet system. I don't know how good that is. Um, but any of you watching uh, know much about guided system and have an opinion and want to leave a comment, feel free to do so. But please hurry because I need to get something going here soon. Um, and of course, by the time I post this video, I may have already done something, but who knows. Um, so yeah, I spent some time doing that, but uh, yeah, I gave it a good uh, good walkthrough. Um, 
There's a lot of equipment there. It's 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 hard to take it all in. Um, but uh, it is neat. It is interesting. You know, I'm not that big, and there's a lot of big equipment there for big farmers. And, um, you know, stuff I'll never see. <laughs> All it was funny is standing there talking to one guy about the Glen of Combine, the Agco rep. And I uh, walked up. Uh, he said something about being interested in Combine. And I said, uh, I'll never own one of these. <laughs> I, told him, I, I told him that we run a, an old Golden Harvest Edition F2 Gleaner. And I said, I figured with the way it is 30, it's... Yeah, it's 30 plus years old. Um, you know, by the time that S77 or S88, whatever that gleaner was there today, is that old where I could afford to buy one? Maybe, but I'll be in my 60s by then if I'm still alive. And yeah, so <laughs> we just kind of laughed over that. But anyway, who knows? Uh, but. Uh, yeah. Um, pick me up a gleaner hat, which is something that's um, easy to find. I've looked for gleaner hats before. I've always wanted a gleaner hat. So I got me a gleaner hat and I got me a uh, Massey Ferguson uh, Boggin, I call them. I know that other people call them different things, but uh, same ones that they wore in the Antarctica 2 trip on the look up the Massey Ferguson YouTube videos in Antarctica too. But uh, anyway, about to run out of time on this video. Just uh, wanted to highlight my trip to the National Farm Shooter Show. I'll try to post up a few pictures and uh, for you to see. Not many. And, uh, that's that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my rambling on. See ya.